Thank you for viewing a brief presentation for the third phase of engagement for the Dale Street Safety Conversion. This presentation provides similar updates to those provided at the in-person open house. My name is Luis Flores and I am a project manager with Ramsey County Public Works. During the next few minutes, I will be discussing the project overview and construction schedule. I will also be summarizing what we heard from the public during the first two open house events for this project. Project Overview Ramsey County, in collaboration with the cities of Roseville and St. Paul, will be redesigning Dale Street between Highway 36 and north of Como Avenue into a 4-3 to three lane conversion to help reduce the frequency and severity of crashes occurring along the roadway. The roadway will be resurfaced and restriped and signals will be replaced or updated along the corridor. As part of the selected design and based on public input, bicycle lanes and pedestrian refuge islands will be implemented throughout the corridor. At the Signals, Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, improvements will be implemented. Several transit stops will also be updated, and guardrail will be replaced throughout the north end of the project limits. On the top left of this slide, the existing four-lane conditions can be viewed. On the top right, cross-sections of the proposed design can be reviewed, one with the shared turn lane and the other with the pedestrian refuge within the median. The layout image at the bottom shows a top view of what the proposed design will look like. Schedule Over the past year, Ramsey County was able to collect input through collaboration with Metro Transit, MnDOT, the cities of St. Paul and Roseville, the public, and other stakeholders to aid in our roadway design development. The first open house took place in early January, during which we introduced the project and its background to the public. A preliminary four to three lane conversion concept was presented during this event. During this event, more than 80 residents were encouraged to prioritize their concerns as users of this corridor by physically placing comments on the printed layout. The two main themes identified by the public were the lack of pedestrian crossings and overall thoughts on the four to three lane conversion. We used this feedback to strategically select locations where pedestrian refuges would be most beneficial. After the first open house, input was used to guide the design and prepare updated concepts. During this time, planning meetings continued internally and with stakeholders. The second open house took place in late June, during which the public was shown an updated concept incorporating several pedestrian refuge islands with crosswalks and other treatments based on input from the first open house. Similar to the first open house, residents were given another opportunity to prioritize their concerns by physically placing comments on an updated layout. The two main themes identified this time were support for the numerous pedestrian crossing facilities and the roadway design. Feedback was used to update the project design where possible. Since the last open house, a final design has been selected and will be presented to the public at the third open house on December 5th. This event will take place at Como Park High School Library from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. During this time, the project layout will be shared and questions will be answered regarding construction. Construction Activities The project is set to be advertised for bidding in April of 2024, with construction intended to start later in the summer and lasting approximately two months. At least two lanes, one in each direction, will remain open during construction. As seen in this recent 4-3 to three lane conversion on Maryland Avenue, concrete work at the medians and signals will be completed prior to the asphalt resurfacing. Portions of the inside lanes will be closed for construction of the medians, but one lane will remain open in each direction during their construction. Project updates will be added to the project website as they become available. Thank you for your time. We look forward to working with you on making this project a reality.